Hey, this is Coach Rod. How y'all doing? I am a um, Kingdom Relationship and Life Coach. I teach relationships and um, life. I mean, Kingdom perspective. Um, kingdom mean God will doing things. Um, so that's what I do. I teach relationships from a godly perspective. If you're new to this channel and you like this type of content, you know, hit the subscribe button and also hit the bell so you get notified when I upload content. Um, I try to upload, you know, as much as I can. Make my condition. Some days I just can't do it. Um, but um, every other day I try to upload content. Um, yesterday I took a break, you know, wasn't feeling well, took some time off. Um, if you see me closing my eyes, um, just be patient with me because of the light, um, the, 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 this, um, the it, it affected my eyes, you know, it really affected my eyes. Come here, light sensitivity and bird vision. So if I close my eyes, just know that, you know, uh, my eyes are hurting. Um, and also forgive my hair. I might see some patches in my head falling out, uh, the lymphoma, it makes you lose hair as well. But uh, anyways, uh, I, wanna, I wanna talk about the short I did yesterday. Um, why do some men disappear or ghost women or stop pursuing women or start showing interest in women? Uh, there, there are some reasons why, and I'm going to give you my reason from a man perspective. Uh, I talked about this on a short I did the other day, that a, a man will come in your life and he will say all the right things, do all the right things, tell you that God said you his wife, talk about God and stuff like that. And sometimes they, they even use, you know, church as a way to get women, you know. I'm coaching. I'm coaching. I have known women made a mistake. A man coming there alive, talking about God. You know, God said this here, you you my wife. And they paying for all the dates, paying for all the trips, sin, doing all the right things. No phone conversations all night long, on the phone, every day, talking and talking. Again, the these signs that I said that shit out that, that a man really says about you. They're gonna be also a man who not says about you, he's gonna have some of them signs too. But it's only gonna be for a short time. It's only gonna be for a month. And uh, based upon my experience as a coach, a lot of women allow a man to run a marathon, not to run a sprint, not a marathon. He come and do his best effort for two or three weeks, you know, the mistake that women make, they're in the bed with the man. They're in the bed with the man. So a lot of times when a man, a man know a weak woman. A man know a strong woman. But a man know when he's dealing with a woman that got some morals and sense that he know that he ain't gonna be able to run game. He's not gonna be able to get her on her back real easy. So when a man is dealing with a type of woman who have standards, who have boundaries, Men with the wrong intention do not like women with boundaries. Do not like women with boundaries. And I want to tell you, if you don't have boundaries, you need to get boundaries. You need to get boundaries. Boundaries is for your protection. Boundaries protect you. Wouldn't a toxic man, grown boy, narcissist, uh, whoever, come in your life and see that you have boundaries, he is going to run. And that's one of the reasons why a lot of men um, take off and run from a good woman uh, because they, they don't like your boundaries. And that is a good thing. That's a good thing. And a lot of women feel discouraged when a man start off good saying and doing all the right thing, saying all the thing that um, you know she want to hear and talking about God. And then when a the man start, start showing interest like less than a month, cause it's going to be less than a month. It's going to be two or three weeks of him coming hard, calling you every day, talking every day, you know, he might take you out, do all that stuff there, pay for everything, you know, 
but it's going to be two or three weeks. But then those two or three weeks, he, he going to try, you know, to see can he get you on your back. You know, he's going to try you, you know. Now, if you have a woman that give up a, a vibe that, you know, you have self-love and self-respect, men can sense that. Men know a real a, a real woman because, uh, like I said, on one of my previous videos, you know, about a year or so ago, maybe two years or a year and a half ago, I did a video with um, a sister of mine called Sister uh, Danielle. And one thing she said in that video, it really stood out to me. She said, you know, one guy told her that the reason why I have not slept with you is because I respect you. Because you're a different type of woman. I respect the woman that you will, you know. She said, the reason why you had not slept with me because I had not allowed you to slept with me. See with me. That's what she said. And she and she was absolutely, absolutely right. That man, now why did that man say that? That man knew that the type of woman that she is, she not no easy woman. She not no woman that's gonna let you get her on her back real easy. He know that she gonna have to put in the work to get that woman. And that's the problem with a lot of men in this generation is that they don't want to put in the work, you know. So when they see a woman like that, they like her. You know, she and, and she a beautiful woman, you know. You can be beautiful and everything, but when a man see a woman like that, I ain't gonna say a man, but a grown boy. Because a real man, see a real man, he, he, he want a woman like that. A real man, a mature man. A man of God, a man, a kingdom man, oh, he want a strong woman like that. Actually, it's a turn on to a real man. So, whenever you meet a man and he don't like your boundaries, he, he start making excuses, he start falling out within a month, let him fall off. He's not a real man. He's not the one that God has for you. That's number one. He's not the one that God ordained to be in your life. So, that's why a lot of times these men fall off because they know that the type of woman they're dealing with is not about the game. And it's a, shame, it's a shame, but a lot of men, not all men, but a lot of men love women that they can control. They use the submit word. Oh, you don't, you're not submissive. And a lot of men use that word to control women. When a woman have boundaries, when a woman come up to be a, a woman of, um, you know, standard, Moral conduct, um, not sleeping around, not easy on their back. Men, a lot of, I'm going to say men, but grown boys, they tend to run for those type of women because they have not grown up yet. They're still a boy. They don't know a good woman when they see one. And they use that word submit to control women. Half of them don't, don't even know where in the Bible where it say submit to your husband. They, they, they don't even know where it's at, but they just going by what they heard somebody else say. Now everybody else saying, oh, you know, women are not submissive and stuff like that. American women are not submissive. And then they say black women are not submissive. What they mean is a lot of black women are wising up. A lot of black women are watching the videos. They're watching me. They're watching Blake. They're watching Tony. They're getting, they, they, they're getting their knowledge. So they they reading the books. They, they they a lot of black women are wising up. Just now they're saying that black women are not submissive. That is a lie straight from the pits of hell. So now black American women are not submissive. And if I heard one of my clients say a man told her that he's gonna go to Africa and get him a, a woman from Africa and uh, and bring her back over here. And that man's a toxic man. That man put hands on women. Called, you know, the woman who um, was friends with him, that was talking, she did a background check on him. And she found out in his past that he had two um, histories of DM against women. So when he met this girl here, you know, he mad because he can't get what he wanted to get from her, control her. So he telling her that uh, I don't like black, black American women. I'm gonna go to Africa and get me an African girl and bring her over here. Supposed to be he talking to somebody from Africa. 
and he gonna bring her over here. I said, yeah, he gonna bring her over here. But you know why he wanna do that? Because she can't go nowhere. She need him to get, to get her green card. He can he can't control her. He can manipulate her. That's why they wanna go get women from other other countries. That's why a lot of men like um women, Philippine women, and all the other women from other country. A lot of black men, cause they can control those women. A lot of women are not like Philippine women. They're not watching videos like this right here, like a lot of American women else, you know. So they 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 go over there. Cause I had a coworker, you know, one time when I, um, when I was driving trucks, uh, I was in New Jersey. So another another driver driving the same company as mine. Me and him saw each other. We started talking. And then he said, man, hey, man, you want you a Philippian woman? A Philippian woman? I said, nah, man, I'm straight, man. And then he showed me a picture of his girlfriend. And then he said, her niece or something, her cousin. I don't know who it was, her cousin. Uh, somebody came to his girlfriend. And she said, she's single. She's looking for a man, Drew. And she showed me, he showed me her picture. And my thing is, number one, I'm not attracted to Philippine women. You know, now someone look at look attractive i'm not putting them down but it is not my cup of tea you know my cup of tea my weakness all women are beautiful in my eyes but my weakness is black women the one who make me weak the one who i can't keep my eyes off of you know just being real black women are the most beautiful women that ever walked the face of this earth i, I love black women i love the i love our color Brown, dark, light, whatever. I mean, the shape, the curve, the pretty face, the features that God gave our black women. I'm not interested in a Philippine woman. See what I'm saying? I don't date American black women because they don't be, they don't, they don't know how to submit. And he going about one of his exes that he he dated that he was in that shit with, and she did him wrong. But again, men shoot women based upon. Physical attraction alone, and you know what she do in the bedroom, deep throat swallowing and all that kind of stuff. Those type of women that men choose, women that, that know how to swallow with a deep throat, you know, those are the ones that they fall in love with, you know, women like that. That's what turn men on, and they what cloud men judgment. See, until men start watching nasty movies and get delivered from that nasty stuff, they can pick more, they can make a better judgment on good women. But most men don't know what a good woman is. They, they know, but I ain't gonna say they don't know, cause they know. Us men, we know, but they not they know they're not ready for a good woman. They're not ready for that type of woman, because they have not grown up yet. They're not ready to settle down. They're not ready to get married. They just want to come and play games on women. So you'll come to a woman life and play the game for that two or three weeks. This is why I say it's important to be asking it. You know, if not be asking it, at least, y'all excuse me, at least, you know, have a standard that, you know, you're going to let a man run a marathon. You see what I'm saying? But I have known women let a man run a sprint. Two or three weeks. The man in the bed. They're in the bed with the man. It ain't been a month. The man ran a sprint. Then he got them. So a lot of times when a man see that you're not the type of woman, that you're a woman that you can't sleep with real easy, that he can't run game on, he'll start falling off, and he go he go start finding him pursuing a weaker woman that he can control, a woman that, that don't have no boundaries, or a woman that don't enforce her boundaries, or a woman that feels like I'm 40 years old, I'm 45 years old, I'm 35 years old, Coach Ra, I, I never been married, so let me make this work, let me just submit to the man, and see this is what this is what a lot of women are doing. This this the mind of a lot of women. A lot of times a woman have boundaries. I've called women that have boundaries. I call women that I, I say I say, sir, do you got boundaries? Yeah, I got boundaries, Coach Rob, but you know, I figure I'm 40 years old. I'm, and I've never been married. You know, I want to get married. I'm 35 years old, Coach Rob, I've never been married. So I felt like, you know. I had to do what I had to do to make it work, and I and I and I have known women. The man told the woman that, "Hey, listen, I'm not in love with you." 
and the woman will still lay down and let that man get on top of her. That man don't told her he's not in love with her. <laughs> but in her mind, if she keep giving her body up to this man, she had to make it work. This man might change his mind and see her as a wife. You know, she giving her body up for the man, she cooking for the man and all that kind of stuff here. I said, sir, I'm a man I know with him. When we know we got a woman gonna always give her body up to us, if we don't want to marry you, a man, a man know whether he, not he want to get married when he first see you. If he's ready to get married, if he's ready to settle down with one woman, he going to know right then and there. A man know when he first see you whether or not he'll marry you. Yeah, a man know. So you doing all this for a man to try to make it work and get this man to marry you, so you're wasting your time. I, I told her, I, I told her my client, I like, you, you deserve better, you better than me. You a queen, and you don't even know you're a queen. Yeah, you, you, you giving your body up to this man, but you still a queen, but you gotta know you're a queen. And I told her, put your crown back on your head, and position your, your crown, and, and, and stop letting this man get on top of you, and make noise, because this man do not want you, and he ain't gonna change. I say, it's up to you, you wanna keep giving, up, giving the man, your body, who don't deserve your body, who's not willing to lay his life down for you and marry you, so you deserve better. That's what I told him. That's what I tell my client. Anybody watching this video and you and someone similar to that, you thinking that this man will change, you giving him in your body, you cooking for this man, sis, you deserve better. You deserve better. You are a queen. You are a queen, but you gotta know you're a queen. And that because you made a mistake in your past, that because you fell in your past for the game, and you allow a guy to trick you and you gave your body up too soon, listen, you can't recover. You still a queen. All you gotta do is get your crown, put it back on your head, and say, you know what? I will never settle again. You see what I'm saying? I have told so many women that. So many women have told that. The guys come in like two or three weeks, Running a sprint, go 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 to that church with them, and all that. Go to church together, and then he start inviting a woman on on trips. You know he paying for the trips, and uh, she was like, "Oh, he was paying for everything." I was like, "Hell, I pay for everything too." But I give him another point. That's why he paying for everything. You get, you, you get another banana point. I don't blame him. I would pay for everything too. I said, listen, you giving him brownie points because he paying for everything? That's what a man going to do when he want banana pudding. Oh, yeah. yeah. So I told him, I said, sir, if I was you, I cut up with him. But I know you might not cut up with him because I know y'all women. But if you, if you want to be your friend, that's your city. But at least cut, cut the sex off. That's all he's doing is using you. That's all he's doing. Now he got your body. Now he, he don't call as much anymore. Now he backing off. Now he got an excuse. But before, he didn't have no excuse. So that's why a man will come in your life with the games, you know, playing like he really serious about you, doing all the right thing, saying all the right thing. But then once he see that you're the, that type of woman, he start to distance himself from you. He start, stop calling, stop texting. Then you call him on the phone. When that happens to us, that's your protection. But a lot of women feel discouraged because y'all want every man that pursue y'all to be y'all husband. That's where you're going wrong at. Forget about marriage right now. Date and be open for marriage, but don't assume every man that come in your life is your husband. In this generation, the majority of men that come in your life is not going to be your husband. In this generation, you're going to you're gonna have, you're gonna have to reject a lot of men before you meet your husband. You know what I'm saying? Because that's... that's we live in a world where a lot of men are lost. You know, society has got our men lost. So, as a woman, don't feel discouraged. You should be rejoicing that this man left. And a lot of times, too, God know that you're not strong enough to cut it off. God know that you fall in love easy. You, you got feeling for the man. So, a lot of times, too, God will break that mess up and say, you know what? Let me call this man to, 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 to leave her alone because... He's not the one for her. So a lot of times, too, it, it, it be God protecting y'all. You know what I'm saying? But that's why a man 
would stop showing interest if he see that you are a woman that has that have boundaries and you enforce your boundaries he go and this generation a lot of men despise women like that they say you're not submissive they want somebody that they can control and i always tell you all your boundaries is for your protection that's the purpose of you having boundaries you having boundaries not to get no man you having boundaries is to protect you from toxic men from toxic relationships so whenever a man goes with you stop showing interest disappear from you 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 have dodged a bullet and you lost a man but guess what we ain't losing no real man you lost a grown boy and losing a bone grown boy it's not a loss it's a gain you just lost a headache sis so keep your head on your on, on your crown on your head and keep going forward don't feel this good when a man don't want to ghost with you because you don't want to sleep with him don't let the pressure of, of, of men cause you to lose your standards and your morals and your value keep your value keep your character keep your morals keep your standards keep your body keep your wound honor your body honor your wound and until we have a, a world full of women that have boundaries these men ain't gonna never change but we got a lot of women in this world will allow a man to come in like in, in two or three weeks he do good for two or three weeks then they bed with the man and then they'll phone with me and i'll tell them what the man doing and but sometimes they want to take up for the man oh yeah but because why nothing so the man don't want you the man don't love you yeah but he said this yeah, cause he wants you over there putting sus. That's why he said that. Look at the signs. He started off real good, talking to you every night at the same time. Now all of a sudden now you call him, he don't answer the phone. He go two or three days not talk, calling you. And then this man go three months with not calling you. You talk to your 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 your, your, your ignorant male friend. Your ignorant male friend tell you to call that man. And you go running behind the man because you're dumb, you're dumb. Male friend told you to call a man. You'll never call no man who ain't call you in three months. I don't give a damn what your male friends say. Some of y'all got some dumb, ignorant friends, and you need to start getting advice from anybody and book your session and get on a call with a coach. Because I'll tell you what's right. I'm going to tell you, sir, don't go right behind no man. A man ain't call you in three months. You don't call no man and he call you in three months. You the queen. If the man wants you, he coming to get you. But she called the man back after three months ago, the man I called her. He apologized and gave us some bull crap behind excuse why he didn't call. And she accepted the apology, accepted the excuse, and then now the man wanna plan a trip to take on the hotel room. To get some more banana pudding. I said, sis, you finna you finna reward this man for bad behavior? That's what you finna do. You finna give this man a reward for bad behavior. Women. Y'all gotta stop doing stuff like that right there. Like I said, on my channel, I'm gonna hold you accountable. So if you're doing something like that right there, listen to what I'm telling y'all. Stop doing that. Stop letting the man come in your life and just do the bare minimum for a short period of time and you're in the bed with the man with your legs open. You gotta stop doing that, queen. You're a queen. And you deserve so much better. So that's why a lot of times men do that. They know that you're a real woman, you're a good woman, but they're not ready for a woman like you. They're too immature. Grown boys do not like women with boundaries. Real men love women with boundaries. But grown boys do not like women with boundaries. So when a man leave you, sis, or he start calling you, start texting you, or start, he ghosts you, guess what? Let him be ghost. Let him be gone. You just dodge a bullet. All you gonna do is waste your time Come in your life and try to get you on your back and just waste your time outside the will of God. You deserve better than that right now. So, it could be some other reason why men do that, but that, that that's the main reason why a man would start out doing good and then he'll fall off because he, he knows that you're not the type of woman. A lot of men like weak women. They, they're attracted to women who are weak. They call them submissive. They call submitting being weak. They call submitting letting a man dominate and control. 
Yes, some of y'all allow these men to control you. God has not created a woman for a man to dominate and control. God created you for a man to love you. And if a man is marrying you and he don't love you and, and, and treat you like the weaker vessel, 1 Peter 3 and 7 say, God will not answer this man's prayer because of you. Your life matter. Queen lives matter to God. Submit no mean control. Submit no mean do what I say do. But a lot of men, they want a woman that, that, that they can control. When they find out they can't control you, you got standards and boundaries, they will find them a weaker woman they can walk all over and control you. So when that man go, that's your protection. You have dodge a bullet. You didn't lose nothing but a grown boy. And losing a grown boy is not a loss, it's a gain. Any culture I got, bless you. Uh, thank y'all for everything you do. Thank y'all for y'all support and everything. You know, uh, I'm doing good. Just I went to the doctor today, and um, they're gonna start the treatment uh, next week. They're gonna start the treatment next week. Uh, so I am gonna get the treatment started and everything. But um, you know, keep me, keep me lifted up. Keep me in your prayers, and um, keep sewing. Keep sewing, cause you know. I, the Bible says you had not got your ass not. <laughs> the money is going in good ground. It's helping me buy my medication that I need for the treatment. You know, I'm not blowing the money. I'm not going out spending the money. I don't go nowhere. And God's my witness. This when 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 God laying people out to sow to me. When they sow to me, that money is going towards my healing. The money is going towards me getting better. It's going towards my treatment. It's going towards my medication. It ain't going towards me going out to the basketball game, football game, traveling. Listen, that money is going towards a good cause. So, you know, if God lay on your heart and you want to send me a seed, you know, the Bible says you had not got your action on. All, by all means, my cash is going to be inside the description box. Like I said, you know, that money will go towards my healing and my my um my uh, treatment, you know, my medication and stuff like that. So I appreciate y'all who do so, you know, and the one who don't so, the one who just give me thumbs up, the one who like my videos, the one who watch my videos, the one who comment, the one who pray for me. I appreciate y'all as well. Thank y'all so much. Thank everybody for your support, and also. Um, I'm, I'm an author of the book called Queen Don't Settle. The link for that is going to be inside the description box. Click on that link to purchase that book. And um, so I like you know, get anything. My PO box is going to be inside the description box as well. If you don't have cash out and you old school, you're older and you want to do it the old school way, my PO box is going to be inside the description box um, as well. You can do it that way as well. But like I said, you know, I need, I, I need it, you know, and, and I'm not working right now, and, you know, I'm not that person to depend on my to take care of me. Today, I asked the doctor, when I stop my treatment, how soon can I start back working? He said, within two or three weeks, you should be feeling better, go back to work. So, I plan on going back to work by the end of June, by July, I plan on being back to work. You know what I'm saying? Driving. Oh, driving again. I want to go back to work. I don't let nobody take care of me. I don't want no handout. I don't want the government. Because people have told me, go to our path of disability. I'd rather work and make my own money because I can make more money going to work than staying home waiting on the government to give me a check. A disability check. Now, that ain't going to work for me. What? Two thousand fourteen hundred dollars a week, a month, something like that. There ain't no money. I be, I be, mm -mm, I be, uh, 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 I can't, I, I, I can't get no woman. I can't get no woman and come in her life and offer her a, a, a check, disability check. Hello, somebody. <laughs> I want my wife, so I gotta have that bread, so I can provide. Okay, I'm a provider. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, hey, but um. Keep me living up, keep me in your prayer if you can. So help me out. Like I said, you know, uh, the money will go, 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 go towards my medicine. You know, I got I got me some, my prescription today for this medicine right here. Help me out with my um, itching and information. 
um, stuff like that. And it came from the money that was sold into my life by y'all. You know, it's going in good grounds. It's going in good grounds. I'm not, like I said, you know, I'm not blowing the money. I'm not pie. I'm not, mm -mm. By y'all giving, y'all helped me able to purchase this, this medicine right here for my for my healing and, you know, for my um, my treatment and everything. So I appreciate it. And thank y'all so much. Thank y'all so much. Um, God bless y'all. I'll talk to y'all soon.